Hello and welcome to the training video to teach you how to set up your favorites within your Safest account. This is the home screen once you sign in. So you want to click on favorites in your navigation box. Once you click on favorites, this allows you to set your default values for several different fields. First, you can set your default for your trip header, which is your state, port, and vessel. You can set favorites for your efforts, dispositions, species, and dealers as well. The most important thing on this page though is this green save button. As you set up your favorites, always click save after everything you do. It's the best way to make sure that everything stays the way it should be and that all your changes get accepted. The first thing I want you to do is click on add additional trip header. Rhode Island is defaulted for your state landed. The Rhode Island ports are listed in a drop down menu here. And in this case, if your city is not in this list, just choose the one that is closest to the marina where you dock or where you take your boat out. In this case, I'm going to choose Newport. Then you can select your vessel. Click this, then click select from all vessels. This brings up this pop-up window within your browser. And in this case, it only shows about the first 15 boats. So if you have a Rhode Island registration number, make sure the registering state says Rhode Island, and then search for your registration number. When I search, I usually leave off the RI. I just do the four numbers plus the letters or letter after those numbers, and I click go. The results returned will always include from shore and unregistered, but it should require also show you anything that has those that combination of letters and numbers. And in this case, my boat does show up, so I'm going to choose select. However, if I had a Massachusetts boat or a New York boat or some other state that, was re that your vessel is registered to, you want to change your registering state to that state and then search again. So I'm going to bring it back to Rhode Island and then choose my vessel. Now you can see that I have my vessel, my port, and my state. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to save. Now that I have my favorite trip header saved, um, if you ever have a second boat or another port that you need to put in, you can always add another trip header, enter the same information, but then choose which one is more common and use that as your default. If you ever need to change something for like one trip, you can always do so in the actual trip report that you are trying to make that change in. Say, for example, you landed one day in Point Judith, but normally you land in Newport. You can always make that change in the trip report, and you don't need to make that change in the favorites section. So the next thing I want to set up is how to set up your efforts. I'm going to put in my favorite efforts, or my defaulted efforts, the types of gear that I use most frequently. I'm going to give examples for using lobster pots, fish pots, and hook and line. So the first step is click add additional effort. And in this case, this is where you would enter your area fished, your gear type, and your gear quantities. First thing you do is select the type of waters. In Rhode Island, we default to state waters inshore too. However, if you are a federal boat um, and have a logbook requirement rather than a VTR requirement, you would use Federal Waters EEZ. This is also applicable for some tuna trips and things like that. But I'm going to choose State Waters Inshore 2. And that then brings up the list of states. I choose Rhode Island, which then brings up the list of Rhode Island areas. Most people fish in 539, but you can refer to the maps in your old logbooks to see what area that you are actually fishing. Alright, so the first gear type I'm going to put in, I'm going to use lobster pots. You probably won't be able to see this whole list, but when you click on it in your own favorites, you will. So I'm going to choose pots and traps, comma, lobster. And when I do that, a lobster management area box appears. This is the only gear type that has that requirement. But I'm going to choose my lobster management area here. In this case, 539 is in area 2. I'm going to say that I have 
100 pots in the water, but I only typically haul 25 of them. Lobster pots are fixed gear, therefore they're reported in days. And that's it for that effort. So I'm going to add an additional effort. This one is going to be fish pots. Again, I use the same state waters inshore. Rhode Island, 539. Then I'm going to go pots and traps fish. You can see the lobster management area does not pop up there in the water, but I haul them usually twice each. So that's 40 is my trip quantity. And again, pots and traps fixed gear reported in days. My last effort that I'm going to enter is hook and line. Again, state waters inshore, Rhode Island, 539. Hook and line. Let's say I use two rods. For hook and line, these numbers will always be the same. And it's mobile gear, so it's reported in hours. All right, now I have my favorite efforts. I'm going to click Save again. So next up, we are going to enter your favorite species. See the trip header and the effort is done. Next option is Favorite Species. On your left is what we call the species tree. Each of these species is listed here with a little plus sign next to it. If you click on that plus sign, I'm going to do that for bluefish. You can see that it, all the market and grade codes for that species come up underneath it. When you're reporting for logbooks, we don't usually require that you break it out by market and grade category, but instead just provide the full total poundage for a given species. So in any of these cases, you're going to choose the round unclassified option. So I'm going to put bluefish in here. What else? I'm going to add some lobster. If I just find lobster in the list, click on the plus sign, and find the ungraded, unclassified option. I put fish pots in my effort favorites, so I'm going to add sea bass and scup. I go to scup, round unclassified. As long as you just click on that round unclassified link, it'll put it over into the favorite species list. Sea bass, see how they are all coming up over here? Could put in some fluke, round unclassified, and the last thing I'm going to put in is some striped bass, round unclassified. Now looking at this favorite species list, see that it asks you for three other things. You can put the order in which you want the list to appear on a trip report. You can put your dispositions and your sales dispositions. Now these can all be changed within a trip report, but this is maybe for your most common dispositions and most common sales dispositions. So in this case, I'm going to say that my striped bass is sold as food. My fluke is sold as food, my sea bass is sold as food, oops, there's a double scup in here. This is a good, um, good thing to say. If I accidentally put one in twice, just click on it and delete. There may actually be some that I want in here twice, but for now I'm just going to do food for all of these. See the sales dispositions, no sale retained, no sale discarded, private dockside sale, dealers, or placed in car. Most of these are going to be sold to dealer. With the exception of my lobster, which I sell dockside. At this point, I'm just going to save. 
and I actually used some other dispositions with some of these species. For example, my blue fish. Sometimes I keep some for bait. So I'm going to add another line for bluefish. I also realized that sometimes I car the lobster and sell it later. So I'm going to put in another line for lobster. And it's placed in car, it's placed in car on both lines. Can we do this? The last thing I want to do though is just change the order in which I want these to appear on my list. I don't need to put numbers in all of these. I can just do the first three and then the safest program will randomly place the others in the list. If you, only, if you want this list to be more comprehensive, you can put it in any order you want. And that's up to you. And I'm going to save again. Okay, now that I have my species done, the last thing I really want to do for this example is add a couple of dealers. I'm going to click on the Add Additional Dealer button, and then you can search by any part of the name. In this case, I'm going to choose Town Dock as my example. You can see once you click Select, it automatically puts it in this list here. So say I have another dealer. Say I sell to Champlins. See it shows up here. But when you're, if you're doing a second query, make sure that you remove the filter if necessary. So I had to remove the town dock filter before I searched for Champlin. Choose select. Now I have two here. The other thing you can do with this program is you can set your defaulted uh, dispositions or your favorite dispositions. I already have three in my list for my species, so I don't need any other ones. But if you do, there's an option to add them here. I'm going to save one more time. Now everything is up to date and ready to go. The last thing I want to mention, though, is for these efforts, you can see that there's this include button. Now what this does is it, with them all set to yes, all three types of gears will be in every single trip report. If I don't use this gear type every single trip, I want to go in and turn them on and off so that only the active gear types are shown in, in the trip report I'm trying to enter. This is because if the inactive gear types are actually in a trip report, they're saved with no attached catch. So basically you're saying that you fished it, but didn't catch anything. So in this case, uh, my first example, not going to include hook and line. So you just change it to no. I did use lobster pots and I did the fish pots. Did not do any hook and line fishing. And last but not least, you save. So now you can see that that says no. My tree is done. Dealers are done header is done. I'm ready to enter a trip report. Thanks for watching how to set up your favorites.